play Blackpool, a break from YouTube. Competition time! Cheap ass we use. Welcome to another episode of Monkey Talk. Mm. My phone bust. Do you have a monkey in your pants? Hey folks, how's it going? Um, this is a Monkey Talk episode, basically. An episode where I talk and you listen. Something like that, anyway. As you can tell, I have changed the directional viewing of your for your pleasures. I don't know. Um, you can sort of see what can you see? It's hard pointing backwards on the camera. Um, wall decal part of it that my mate Andy, um, sticky vinyl face done. This is my amiibo shell. Whoop! That's some Spectrum games. Quite a few. No, that's for something else. It is Spectrum games. Some Wii U games, some pickups there that I've not shown yet. My Xbox One collection, Spectrum games. Look at all them Spectrum games. Some more Spectrum games. Look at that amazing joystick. More Spectrum games and Spectrums in their table with some radiators for a PC behind the table. There's some more consoles in the shelf. And then you've got PS2, 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 Xbox. What, what do you call it? Original. Xbox original down the bottom and some um, PSP games inside or something like that and my uncomfortable IKEA sh uh, shelf shelf for my bum couch um viewing device we device with a U on the end the Xbox One blah, 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 blah. so yeah a different view and different angle of dangle as someone that we know would say on the tubes and I've got a really itchy ear hole. So yeah, it's at a different angle. If you like, the only unfortunate thing is um, it creates a rather lovely shine on my head, as you can see. I can't do anything about it, apart from grow some hair. So it's a monkey talk episode, like I said. And um, first thing I'm going to touch on is play, 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 blah blah, play Blackpool. So it is me, um. Retro computer convention -y event thing in Blackpool. The weekend of Blackpool, first weekend in May. Went down last year. Um, met some YouTubers for the first time. Had an awesome, awesome, awesome weekend. Met a whole bunch of great people. We were out in some random clubs until five o'clock in the morning drinking on the Saturday. Um, I bought a new Geo CD. Sold it since then, never mind. But no, it was a really, really great event. Um, it was pretty well set up, loads of stuff to be buying if you want to be buying. And it was more about meeting the people as well. And um, I'd maybe had interactions with YouTube or other YouTubers that I watch. And meeting them and get to know them for the first time. And it was a bit bizarre because random people come up and go, Monkey Spas! Didn't help, didn't help, I suppose, that I had Monkey Spas written on the back of my T-shirt. That may have been a giveaway of who I was. But yeah, um, that was really cool. Met a lot, loads of good people and really, really looking forward to this year as well. So, first weekend in May, I've already booked a hotel this evening. Fucking yes. Um, I'm going down with, or I'm picking up, um, Kev Retro Game Crusader, um, another awesome YouTuber. I'm picking him up in Newcastle, 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 Newcastle-ish area. Might be Sunderland. I don't know. It's the same. They all sound the same. Um, sorry, Newcastle onions. Is that what you call yourself? I do not know. Well, aye, aye, man, or I'll read and all that jazz. But picking Kev up there, I'm um, going to be sharing a room with him. So he might try and do stuff to me, or I might try and do stuff to him. I don't know. But um, also staying at the same hotel as Gashead London Retro Gamer Gashead Steve Gashead 66. Really? What is your name these days? Nova Bug Michael Barhan. I think that's how we say that name. And Scott, the console snob, we're all staying at the same hotel, so it's going to be pretty fucking awesome. Really looking forward to it. Um, whether I'll buy anything or not, I do not know. Maybe a PC engine with a CD device, if they had one. Ooh, that would be tempting. But it's not really about buying stuff. It's, it's about the whole event and meeting loads of cool people. Like I said, last time random people came up to me and chatted to me. I know a couple of them now on YouTube, but at the time I was like, oh, okay, hello, how are you? Yes, hello, okay, this is awkward, I don't know, 
okay. But um, it's probably awkward for them as well. Like when I met Steve Benway, I think it felt completely awkward, but it won't be as awkward this time. But anyway, yeah, play back, play Blackpool if I can speak. Um, first week in May, first weekend in May, first week in May, that'd be cool. A week, first weekend in May. Um, if you're going awesome, let me know down in the comments down below. It should be really, really good, like I said. And a brilliant time last time. More about the Peter people than the event. I can't speak this evening, can I? But yeah, it'll be really, really good. So if you are going, let me know and I shall hopefully see your faces at the places. So next thing I've got to talk about out of my what a face is um I'm gonna have a break from YouTube. It's not as bad as what it sounds. No, um it's it's coming up to two years I think. Um very close to two years since I started YouTube and I have been making multiple videos every week since then. Um never really had a break apart from I think when I moved house or if I was on holiday. Um, so I thought I'm gonna have a break for a couple of weeks. Um, the the I'll explain more in a second. Of course I will, or else there'd be no point in me talking about it. Gonna have a break for a couple of weeks. Um, I still sort of settling a new job. Um, it's quite taxing, demanding on the old brain sometimes dealing with architects, drawings, and measurements and calculations and pricing and all that nonsense. So it'll give me a chance to settle into more than more of that sort of side of things. And also, I'm aware of the fact that um, I'll maybe come home from work, get the children to bed, watch a bit of telly, and I'm usually tired, which means I want to go to bed, or I can stay up really late and do YouTube and stuff. And w what I find is, um, you can do so many, many, make so many videos with YouTube, but it takes up the time that I would normally possibly have used to play some video games. So I'm not playing, been playing as many video games, or do we call them computer games? I don't know, as maybe I've been wanting to. Is that, um, do you understand? So I'm going to have a break for a couple of weeks, guys. Um, a complete break, complete break, complete break. Um, and normal services shall resume on the 27th of February. Uh, I'll still be watching YouTube videos. I still am coming back, but I think um, it'll be good to have a little bit of break, give myself a little bit of breather. Um, and yeah, I'll play some games, chill out, relax to the max. I was going to sing a song, but I changed my mind. But yeah, I'll come back. There'll be one more video after this anyway, but um, come back properly on the 27th of February. Uh, the reason being is the next video that you'll see up from me is a subscriber giveaway video. It's not really a competition because you don't really need to do much. I will be explaining that video, but a giveaway video. Again, the prize or the giveaway item will be shown in the giveaway video, which will be the next video you see from me. And as from that point, um, up until the 27th of February, which will mark the two-year point of my YouTube career. It's not really a career, is it? I don't make money off this. I'm not one of those people that has adverts on their videos. But yeah, we'll come back on the 27th, announce the winner, and crack on there on their fourth, etc. But So you'll see this video, and then you'll see another video, and then after that, you'll see no more videos until the 27th of February, which will be the two-year point. But I think it's sometimes... I'm, I'm not saying I'm getting bored with it or stale with it or anything like that. I just feel like having a little bit of a break, um, which means no videos at all, no Tuber's High School Challenge, anything like that. Um, but well, how long is the 27th? Let's have a look on the old calendar. I'll maybe put the competition stroke giveaway video up on Friday and it'll give me one, two, three, three weeks break. Wow. Will I be able to stick to that? Yes, I think so. But instead of coming and spending time making videos and whatnot, um, I will just do nothing, sleep and play video games. That sounds like pretty cool, actually. Yeah, so stay tuned for um, subscriber giveaway. Pretty cool item. Um, got it specifically for it. It's not from my own collection or anything like that. I had to do some work on it to get it to where it is now. But all will be explained in that video, which will be coming up soon. Next thing, actually, I want to talk about is... Um, Infected Flinch put up on his Facebook page, you know who you are, and I saw on um, a Facebook group on uh, Facebook, funnily enough, Game Trader I think it was, about Wii U's. You remember previously I was talking about Wii U's and how it was really, really quite hard to find some games and whatnot, and I didn't understand why shops weren't stocking them because they're not supporting the system, and it's never going to do well if you go into a shop and you see an Xbox One and a PS4 and 
nothing from Nintendo, even though the console exists. And then um, Tesco's, I should say, were selling Wii U's, the basic bundles. It's either one of these two prices, because I can't be bothered to look, 84 or £89. One of the two prices. That is ridiculously cheap. Not online prices, only if the stores had them. I think obviously the stores were trying to get rid of them. So if you manage to pick one up for 80 or say 89 pounds for argument's sake, it's the more costly of the two prices. 89 pounds for a Wii U. Fucking hell man, it's, it's not even it's not dead yet. It's gonna die if retailers keep on going on like this. But we'd say it's maybe already dead, but it's got loads of classic games for it. So yeah, Tesco, 89 pounds for a Wii U. Don't know why the large stores are not supporting the system. Um, it's not got that take of the other consoles, yes, but they would certainly get sales if they stocked games and systems, obviously. But £89, or it might have been £84, but that price for a Wii U, it's a basic bundle, is what it was, the white model, and you could get an external hard drive for it if you desperately needed to, I don't know. Pretty cheap. I'd say fifty pound easily get one. Yeah, hell, I'd probably get one a bit cheaper than that. An external hard drive for it, and there you go. You you've got a Wii U with um, a decent amount of storage on it, but ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous price. Um, it's kind of like people are trying to kill it off. I don't I don't understand why there's a lack of support of it for it. I should say at all, but yeah, eighty eighty odd pound for a Wii U Tesco's. You, what, what are you smoking, son? What are you smoking? So that's it, guys. That's it for me. A very, very quick video uh, this evening. I'm going to play some video games now. But, um, yeah, what did I say? Black, play Blackpool first weekend in May. It's going to be awesome. Book my hotel. Um, there's going to be lots of hilarity and retro games. I'm going to try and play the arcade machines there and place. I think the last time I went down, I was a bit in awe, just like, oh, we've got all this stuff and all these people. Holy fuck. But um, I'm going to go down. Um, I want to play some play some arcade machines this time cojones de loros I, I need to fucking whip your ass on street fighter i said it with the last time i didn't avoid the situation it just didn't happen okay um so i want to go down i want to sit down as well at the tables and play some of the proper old school systems as well um old school systems i've probably got half of them i probably got blah, probably got half of them but i want to sit down and play some of them properly as well and and, and like i say the arcade machines i want to get stuck in uh, some of them as well. Uh, what else? Holiday from YouTube. Yes, there will be one more video after this, which will be the subscriber giveaway. It's what we're calling it. And then after that, I will return on the 27th of February. So more or less a month off. I'll return on the um, second birthday of my YouTube-ness. Um, and I'll announce the winner of the giveaway on that video. And then things will continue as normal. But I think it's sometimes good to have a break. Um, what else did I talk about? I'm looking at my phone now. I know, I know. Competition. Oh, we use cheap. We use. Why are you killing the Wii U shops? I don't know. That's it, guys. Anyway, uh, very quick video. Like I said, for me, as always, thank you much for watching. Please feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Keep an eye out because my next video will be a giveaway video. You don't need to do anything ridiculous to be in with a chance of winning it. Um, it's a pretty cool prize and I hope the winner thoroughly enjoys it. I will catch you next time. Do you have a monkey in your pants?